Hi everyone, my name is Mike Lesquitana and I'm from Ethiopia. Hi, my name is Camila Codero and I am from Puerto Rico. Today in this social venture competition, we would like to present to you a business idea that we think is uh, has the potential of making a difference in the world and the name is Sankofa Designs. The name Sankofa represents an imaginary bird that is flying forward while it's looking backwards. <laughs> and follows a proverb it is not wrong to go back for that which you have forgotten. This has a similar meaning in my life. As I'm moving forward, building my future, I'm also looking back and reaching back to where I came from, through Sankofa Foundation. In this brief presentation, we're going to present to you how we came up with a method of integrating medicine and fashion. In the presentation, we'll introduce a doctor and what he does in Ethiopia, and this is a doctor who's lived in Ethiopia for more than three decades what he does, and the biggest challenges that he faces, and how our business model is going to help him accomplish what he does. Dr. Hortz has sacrificed everything to help kids with tuberculosis of the spine, heart disease, and cancer. Each time he raises a minimum of $20,000 per patient to send his, the kids overseas for treatment. As, however good that sounds, we challenge the system. We believe that we can break the system in, at home and do it at home. So being confronted with these medical issues with very little financial support, we thought we, miss, we must think outside of the box. So we began to do our research and we looked into Ethiopia and what is Ethiopia well known for. And what we found was two things, tourism and fashion. We researched even further and found that the media is highly influenced by Ethiopian culture. We see that BBC reported that Ethiopian clothes firms aim to fashion globally and that many celebrities wear the traditional clothing as well. So we concluded if we bring these clothing, Ethiopian clothing, to the U.S., they will be highly accepted. Here we see examples of very high quality designs that we will be introducing to America, including artwork that are unique to the Ethiopian culture and tradition. So our goal is to hire a designer in Ethiopia who is knowledgeable about the Western culture and produce high quality, modern and fashionable clothing and art through the women that are already there. To then bring this high quality product here to the US. Here, we rent office slash store locally. We partner with shops like Matilda Jane um, Clothing and sell our products through fair trade exhibitions and stuff like that. The dress I'm wearing, for example, right now is $150 on market. The dress was made in Ethiopia without having any U.S. quality under consideration. <laughs> That's what makes it different. We're different. <laughs> we're different because we're focused on high quality product. We exist to fill the gap that Dr. Hortz is filling under his organization. Either way, we look at the big picture. Here, we're introducing the, the beautiful Ethiopian culture to the world, but at the same time, we're saving your soul each day. And that's why Sankofa exists. Thank you. So, so do you have like people ready to go that would be willing to make dresses and stuff that you have to contact. Yeah, so there are like women everywhere. They make their daily living by making clothes like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is they're paid really well. Mm -hmm. So that is the social impact that we're having is we're empowering these women to do what they do best, mm -hmm. but we're introducing the Western idea so that it matches the you know the US quality. So that's where we fill the gap. And we're planning on hiring a local designer who knows about the Western culture at the same time understands the Ethiopian design and fashion. So, yes. Are you connected, sorry, to the doctor and how do you plan on like? Yeah, so that's a big host. I actually met him personally and I actually do work with him. So he, he's been living there forever and he adopted five kids from Ethiopia and everything. So he's very invested to the country. So what we're planning to do is just basically support what he does. And he definitely needs help. So they raise a minimum of $20,000 per patient. That's a lot of money. So what we're trying to do is to cut that cost by half by actually doing the treatment at home. And through our email exchange and through my interview that I learned that, 
the main problem they're having is they don't have enough doctors to do it. So what we do with our organization is raise the money, recruit and sponsor um, orthopedic surgeons to go to Ethiopia and perform these surgeries. So our organization will pay all the expenses for the doctors to go there. But we can't actually afford to pay them, so it has to be a volunteer. And um, equipment will purchase medical devices that they might need. What are your targets target demographic? Like, who would buy these things? Do you, do you expect these to be like everyday casual kind of wear, or who would? Yeah, so what makes us different? So, there are other stores out there who are selling the same thing, like what I'm wearing right now. But what makes us different is our target consumer is totally different. We're focusing on Americans who can afford the high quality brand that we can bring. So like this dress is $150 made just you know locally, no problem. But if we actually can make this dress really finely designed and like you know high quality, then we can sell it for $250, $350, even more. So we're focusing on consumers who can afford, but at the same time who demand high quality products. So, so yes. Be more like special event occasion kind of wear. For any kind, like for you see the picture, Jessica Alba is wearing it to go whenever, you know, with her kid. Or there are clothes that you can wear for special events. Or there are pregnant clothes that they are for guys, you know. So there are different different ways to wear it. So we we try to hear the demand by doing survey, and then what. After we understand what people actually want, then we make those. That's just for clothes, but for like art, any kind of art that people can hang in their house or they can put in their office or you know jewelry, for example, that anyone can wear at any time. So it depends on the demand. But we're going to do that by distributing survey. Understand.